everyone welcome to the next session of finite element analysis i am solving question 12 of direct application of eme i am starting with heat transfer problem in this session using fem determine the temperature distribution in the wall shown in the figure below and calculate the heat flow through the wall so this is a composite wall given to me a is steel b is insulation and a is again steel at one end the temperature is 0 degree celsius and at the other end the temperature is 20 degree celsius the value of thermal conductivity k for steel is given as 55 into 10 raised to minus 3 watt per mm degree celsius and kb that is the thermal conductivity for insulation material is given as 0 0.1 into 10 raised to minus 3 watt per mm degree celsius and the first thing that i'll do is i'll discretize this diagram itself so this I mark as element 1, element 2 and element 3. Here I will mark node 1, 2, 3 and 4. So these are the 4 nodes and 3 elements that I have. When I start with the solution, I will first draw the discretization diagram which is my step 1. This is my element 1, element 2 and element 3. 1 is between node 1, 2, 2 is between 2, 3 and 3 is between 3, 4. Next, I will go to step 2 that is development of EME. The EME for this type of question will be Ka upon He 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1. Then I will have theta 1, theta 2 raised to E is equal to q1 q2 raised to e your theta will indicate the temperature and q will indicate the heat flow rate k is thermal conductivity a is the cross section area of the wall and he is the thickness of the wall that is 2 mm 4 mm and 2 mm respectively so i'll start for element 1 k will be ka into a of a and h will be h1 so 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 theta 1 theta 2 raised to 1 is equal to q1 q2 raised to 1. Now here I will do a small assumption that my value of area is 1. Now from Fourier's law you must be knowing that this cross section area is going to be same for all the walls but this thickness is what is going to vary. So I am just writing area is 1 which means my AA and AS both will be 1. AA means okay, AA and AB both will be 1 for the A wall and the B wall. Now I will substitute these values here. The value of KA is given to me as 55 into 10 raised to minus 3. A is 1 and H1 is 2. I will have 1 minus 1 minus 1 1. Theta 1 theta 2 raised to 1 is equal to q1 q2 raised to 1 when i solve this i get 10 raised to minus 3 27.5 is the multiplying number now my element 1 is between node 1 2 which i'll mark here Next, I will go for element 2. For element 2, I get the answer as 10 raised to minus 3. I think you can write the rest of the equations. Element 2 is between node 2, 3. And for element 3, which is again my steel, values will be same. So, I get the same answer. I get 10 raised to minus 3. 27.5 is the multiplying number. Element 3 is between node 3, 4. Next, I will go for step 3 that is development of GME. Here, I will take 10 raised to minus 3 common. 
I have four nodes. While solving this question, be careful. Here I am using a Greek alphabet theta and here I am using an English alphabet Q. Sometimes students tend to just interchange these terms. Now I will be substituting the value. Element 1 is between node 1, 2. The number is 27.5. Element 2 is between 2, 3. This is very simple. Element 3 is again between 3, 4 and the number is 27.5. These numbers are 0. Next, I will go for step 4, imposing boundary conditions. The variables are theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4. And I have Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. Now, when I go back to the question, my theta 1 is 0 degree Celsius and theta 4 is 20 degree Celsius. These are the two data that is known to me. So, I will write here theta 1 is 0 degree Celsius given and theta 4 is 20 degree Celsius given. Now, since these two values are known, these two will become question mark. These two will become question mark and these two will be zero. This is balancing of secondary variables. You will anyways need to calculate the temperature, interface temperatures. So, theta 2, theta 3 and Q2, Q3 is zero because the heat flow rate through all the walls is zero. So, there is no change. So, I have just assumed them as zero. Now, here if you look carefully, theta 1 is zero. That is the first primary variable. Since this is 0, I will neglect the first row and first column for some time. I will write these equations, calculate the value of theta 2, theta 3. Theta 4 is known to me as 20 degrees Celsius. I will first calculate theta 2, theta 3 and then find Q4 and Q1. I have 10 raised to minus 3, 27.525. To I think you can write these matrices now. I'll write the equations for these now. This is my first equation. On solving equation 1 and 2, simultaneously when I solve them, I get the value of theta 2 as 0 0.018 degree Celsius and theta 3 as 19.98 degree Celsius. When I substitute theta 3 in this equation 3, I will get Q4 as 0 0.55 watt. Heat flow rate is going to be in watt. And when I revisit the equation, I get the value of Q1 as minus 0 0.495 watt. I think you can write the equation by now. And last, I am going to go for a check step. That is my heat flow rate should be equal to, summation should be equal to 0. This 
this value is approximately zero. Hence, I have checked or tallied my solution. So this is how a problem of heat transfer is supposed to be solved using the FEA method. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. I'll see you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.